Hey guys, uh, thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I've been up to. I uh, appreciate your time. I'm just going to show you just this thing I made. Um, I always wanted something from the uh, from the Blob movies, some sort of little collectibles. So uh, thanks to Eric and, a, and definitely a couple of my other friends like Tom Martino just inspiring me to want to um, start sculpting again. I used to sculpt a little bit, but it's been years. Uh, the clay that I was working with I wasn't really a fan of and um, I found I was able to find out more about some other kinds of clay again thanks to definitely thanks to Eric i had been messaging back and forth about how to go about it and um, I decided to make and you can find his channel Eric's channel he does have a YouTube channel um, the horror man uh, or just horror man I'll have a link below <laughs> anyway um, so I decided to sculpt uh, just something from the blob, and uh, I ended up doing this victim here. It took me, I'm very slow, and um, since I haven't done this in years, this took me about uh, six and a half hours. Um, but it was fun. I worked straight on through the, uh, I think it was a, Friday, a Saturday night, and, um, and then the very next morning I uh, baked it um, I definitely recommend this kind of clay it's a uh, super sculpty I had fun with super sculpty it um, it's very soft I guess that's the only little negative thing I can say is that it is really soft um, and I guess they have several they have different kinds one's a bit harder um, but I, since I'm a beginner I, I picked the soft clay and uh, just this size here uh, took me an hour to bake and now that I think about it um, 50 minutes probably would have been perfect I don't I'm not sure but 60 minutes total for this and it luckily it didn't fall apart but I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys what I did um, okay hold on big fan of the movie and I always wanted a, a collectible just something like a toy or a, a replica so I did my best to make make one and um, I think it turned out pretty cool very proud of it it's uh, inspired definitely inspired by that one scene in the 80s uh, remake where it's got the girl's boyfriend and he's all reaching out so I always love that scene very fun movie the movie has plenty of awesome special effects and fun scenes like this one here and I kinda put my own spin on it a little bit there um, added a droopy like tongue let me zoom in some more but the uh, only reason I, I, I do want to paint it, but I, I can't paint it just yet because I plan on sending this. I'm sending this to. Uh, it's going to be this week, actually. I send this to Eric, and I'm going to have him uh, make some risen copies. So make some uh, cool risen toys out of this. And um, he's going to make all kinds of colors, so I'm excited to see what Eric does with this. And. Um, it should be it should be a lot of fun um, doesn't look like it but this has definitely got some weight it's very solid uh, piece and uh, I'm just lucky just happy that it did not um, explode while baking so um it's kind of a guessing game uh, so i've learned when it comes to um, baking this stuff um, it, it has instructions in the back of the, the box but it's not really thorough and thorough enough so it's it's a bit of a guessing game so i am glad this turned out okay and let me know what you guys think. Again, I haven't sculpted in years. I think it turned out pretty cool. 
and I can't wait to start seeing what Eric does with this uh, making some toys and making some different um, just some cool variants um, I told him I personally want like a, a pink translucent risen copy so I think that would be pretty cool maybe a little hint of red mixed in there I'm not sure but uh, there it is guys there's an update on what I've been up to as far as I guess being creative and um, thanks for stopping by hope you like this update and uh, go watch the blob Grrr.